Hey guys, my name is Brooke Chambers. Uh, a little bit about me. I grew up in Payson, Utah. Um, when my dad retired from the Marine Corps, we moved around a lot. I was considered like a military brat. Uh, Payson is the place where we settle down, and so that's considered my hometown. I currently live in Fountain Green, Utah. Not a lot of people know where this is because it's rural Utah. But if you know where Nephi is, it's about an hour and 15 minutes from Draper. So Fountain Green is just 15 minutes from Nephi. Uh, my super, uh, super manpower, I guess. I don't know. I had to think about this one, but I think mine is I'm a super cleaner. I've always been a person who likes things organized and clean. When I get angry, I clean. When I'm stressed, I clean. I just like things organized and having things my way. Uh, so yeah, my mom, she always says like, oh, when you, <laughs> ever since you moved out, I've missed having you. You used to clean all the time and I miss that. Uh, so I guess that's my superpower. Um, Something that I'm excited about for nursing, I think it's just moving up the totem pole. Like I've been a CNA for seven years and I'm just kind of ready to move up and I don't know, just move on, have more responsibility and just have that title, I guess. I'm one of those that doesn't really know where I want to go into the nursing field. I hope I can figure that out like when we do clinicals and stuff like that and I can kind of figure that out along the way, what I like, what I don't like. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind working with babies because they're super cute. Uh, I used to be a CNA for home health and hospice and I really like that. It's really laid back and the nurses I worked with were awesome and they seem to really enjoy it and they've told me that that job was one of their favorites they've had so far. So maybe something like that I would like to get into. Um, so for this random number generator, I got question number 20, which says, other than the standard items, credit cards, money, driver's license, etc., what interesting items do you keep in your wallet and purse? What don't I keep in my purse? I have everything. <laughs> for Valentine's Day, my husband gave me a new purse because my old one was just way too small and falling apart. And so I got this big bag and it's awesome because I can just throw everything in there. But one thing I always have in my purse, Monopoly deal. My husband and I, we play this all the time. And when we're going out to eat at restaurants or camping or whatever, we just pull it out and play and it's really fun. And if you haven't played it, so much better than the board game. It's a lot quicker. So Walmart for five bucks, just so you know. Uh, one thing that my husband bought me at a state fair. <laughs> I always like driving down the road and just like looking at people with those sunglasses and uh, it just cracks me up. I just die. And the last thing you can always find in my purse is tissues. I have these everywhere. I have some in my purse, my backpack, in my car. I'm one of those that my nose drips all year long. Um, I never used to have allergies, but last year was my first year that I got them. So I'm just one of those. I always have them in my pockets. And uh, so that's a little bit about me. Hopefully we can be friends and study buddies throughout this Ameritech journey. I'm excited. And Still nervous about school. I'm trying to get the hang of it still, but I'm excited for what's to come.